don't have. It's, uh, <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> the trip couldn't even end if we wanted it to. Yeah, no, it's still going on right now. <laughs> it's still waiting for his bag. Oh my god! But uh, and then we have Kevin last night telling us how he's getting renting an RV to do that's right, damn right WrestleMania next year. <laughs> we're going to New Orleans, baby. We're renting an RV. It's gonna be like I'm telling you, we're gonna put six of us in. Your there. first guest should be hiding right. No, come on, no. let's book him. <laughs> no, my first guest is gonna be the newly announced 2000 class of 2018 Hall of Fame of Jazz. I'll have a Hall of Famer for two class of 2018. You will, but don't say who it is. I'm not going to say it. I know who you're talking about. Don't say it. We won't say. No. But I'm going to say Jazz because everybody knows I've been on, I've been riding that bandwagon. And we'll, I'm sure we'll say Machu, who's uh, Louie mm-hmm. from Ultimate Stars. And but what do they got? Two different um, companies now? Uh, Richie, what? good R- times R- going got, or something? Yeah, Richie's got this. That's more of his like DJing entertainment company. GTG. Do you know the GGG? You know Richie's the reason why they started Jersey Shore. He told me the whole story. Oh god. Yeah, that's right, Richie. You need to call us up and you got to explain this. You're not listening, I guess. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> he was telling us one night. We didn't know what he was saying. Was he drunk? Oh, he he he, he might have been drunk. I don't know. <laughs> he was saying that they started uh, GTG or. No, what is it, DTF? Because he had GTF or so, whatever they call. I don't know what you're saying. Oh, uh, Jim... Jim Tan and Laundry? Jim GTL. Tan, yeah, Jim Tan and Laundry. <laughs> Good Times... What's it, what is this company? Good Times Going? I think so. No. Something else. <laughs> no, you gotta times. go to Facebook again. Good Times... <laughs> Facebook has become like the new Google. Wikipedia. It's like, alright, we'll just go to GTG. There we go. What is it saying for? Productions... Good times guaranteed. Yeah, there you go. Good times guaranteed. <laughs> oh, you got Fred Ottman again? Do I, did I like his page? <laughs> Wouldn't be messed up. <laughs> I couldn't know when you yelled at him. He, he still has Riley in his poster. <laughs> Nobody yelled at him. Yeah, exactly. The, uh, Ooh. Ooh. the, the <laughs> The new Voldemort of independent wrestling. The uh, wrestler that shall not be named. Oh, when uh, I talk to him? Talk about him? Yeah. We're going to we're gonna kill him off like Benoit. Who said you can't talk about him? That's that's the that's the rule. No. I don't talk about him. Oh. He's the, he's the new Voldemort. What happened with this guy? Come on, dude. <laughs> Seriously. April, what was it? What month are we in? Oh, so this is later, right? That's oh, I said I, I said that uh, icons. Yeah, that, show. That, that said one I, I will not promote. Huh. She only made as much money as she looked, as good as she looked. They did a good with Anvil though. No, that's um, Anvil. Oh, Anvil, yeah. They're good with it. He's just you know, he's a handful. Should be like Jim the handful in my heart. <laughs> 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 I'm telling you, Joe kept coming off like, go. dude, he's talking about WrestleMania 2. <laughs> Was mind. he in it? I, I think so. Didn't they fight, like, Strike Force? I have no idea. <laughs> they fought somebody. <laughs> oh, my God. No idea whatsoever. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I met him the first time I met him. I was with you when he did the uh, promo and he did it backwards. He called it Damage Radio 365. <laughs> so I was like, well, it's an option. We're not doing it again. So I think we covered everything. Oh, no, 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 no. There is something that I did not uh, cover. The um, number two on that list. The do's and don'ts if you're uh, a vendor approaching my table. Uh, and this should go for anybody. Well, I have a story about that one too. Okay, yeah, we were welcome to hear that because I should it should have clicked when you said the uh, the guy that mm. I won't promote. Mm. Um, but yeah, so here here's a, here's for everybody that was busting my balls when I made that post about promoters coming to my table 
and throwing her shit on the table to get signed and not coming to me. And people are like, oh, name names. Who's the name? For all those people that have to know names because if they don't hear names, they think the story's fake. Hmm. So that I'm going to name names and I'm going to have everybody sit there and defend the moron. Oh, my God. He's such yeah. a good boy. It's... it's. <laughs> <laughs> He would never do something like that. He's a God-following man. I wouldn't even say his name. It's just not even worth it. I've had a... I had a former wrestler come up to my table and... While I'm standing right there, he just goes straight to the talent and say, Hey, can you sign my book for me? An indie wrestler or... No. A former... Former TV? TV wrestler for his son who's a big promoter DH 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 yeah. <sighs> wonderful and I ha- and I have the father too so. mm. <laughs> <It's> a- uh. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, <laughs> Joe Joe was all over that one <laughs> oh my god <laughs> um all right, so yeah, basically, I'll give you an example of how I handled the situation when we we goofed. Yes, he's talking about that. Yeah, guy. I'm talking about yeah, yeah, Joe. You're right, Bobby. <laughs> no, but Joey, um, the first name of the DH is not uh, no, that's right. No, what? No, no, he's talking about me. That that's for me. Yeah, that's his son. And Rush is on my phone. <laughs> that's that guy. <laughs> anyway, that's it. Fuck him. <laughs> um, Put him in. I'm like, I'm looking over there. He's probably should be looking over there. Once no, I'm that's what I'm seeing. <laughs> <I'm like, laughs> mm-hmm. Look at this big screen where it's a lot clearer than the broken screen. Um, we screwed up when we brought in Bob Orton. We there was three mail-ins from a guy that we JT screwed up. I gave him all the mail-ins, and they said, do it at Allentown, because that's the best place you can yeah, do it. Yeah. So he puts everything on the floor, gets everything signed, except he never took the photo out of the plastic top loader. Oh, so the Bob plastic? signed the plastic. <laughs> and he's like, well, why would he do that? They said, because he's like a machine, dude. You put it in front of him, he's signing. You put it in front of him, he's signing. So he doesn't look what he's signing, he's just signing. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, that's of course, good. the guy messages me back. He's like, dude, I just opened my mail. He's like, can you... I bought and signed the top loader. And I'm like, oh, dude, I'm so sorry. I'm like, you know, open, you know, send it back to him. This is like two days before. So I'm like, all right, do me a favor. I'm like, overnight it to us or two-day priority to us. We'll pay you back for the postage. Um, and we already had one 11 by 17 that was in cardboard. I thought the cardboard was just the filler in the envelope. Mm. But it was actually a photo in between the two pieces. I didn't know. So we had three photos to have this guy sign. Mm. So he sent five. We sent two of them correctly. <laughs> two of them we forgot to get signed, and one he signed the top loader. So I call I call up, I get in touch with the promoter that brought in Bob Orton to WrestleCon, and I explained to him what happened. Yeah. No problem. You know, I told him, I said, look, if there's anybody at my table you want, you know, you want anything signed, photo, or bring your own stuff, have it signed, you know, no problem. I appreciate what you're doing for us, blah, blah, blah. Needless to say, the uh, the butthead forgets Bob Orton at the airport. <laughs> um, barely makes it back to the hotel to get ready to go to the Hall of Fame that night because he only signed on Saturday. Mm. So I send David over, yeah. and um, the guy the guy at first didn't remember what the hell was going on, and then. Um, David was like, oh, from damage. You said he spoke to you, blah, blah, blah. And Bob just grabbed it out of his hand. He goes, oh, sorry. <laughs> he just signed. So he signed it. So, but, all right, that's how you do it. Like, mm-hmm. you, you get in touch with the promoter, or you go walk up to him and talk to the promoter first. Yeah. You know, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter what really. Look, Bob and I talk all the time. Text him back and forth. We're always checking in on each other. Um, he told me after the show that he's just going to, anything, anything on the East Coast, he's going to call me first. To see if I'm doing it before he suggests to anybody else, which is really cool. Um, that's how you do it. Okay, we get Mr. RF walks up to the table with like 10 t shirts for Eric Bischoff and just drops them on the table and says, Eric, can you sign these? I am two people 
away from Bischoff. There's the Amy's in the middle, and then me. And I'm like staring at him and staring at him and staring at him. And I was like, so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna play cool and be like, all right, yo, I got you, Rob. Don't worry about it, no problem. You know him though? No. Oh, you don't know Rob? I've never officially met him. He's never officially introduced me to him. Oh, okay. I walked up to a one convention when he had One Man Gang and asked him if I could have a card signed. And he said, yeah. And I said, does anybody, you know, you want for me? And I wound up getting, uh, I brought him back one of everybody I had to say thank you. That was it. But to me, that's the proper way of doing right. it. Right. Um, he doesn't even, he doesn't even respond when I said that. So I turned to April Hunter and I was like, is this, is this fucking guy for real? And she starts laughing. She's like, I think so. That or he's deaf. And I was like, yo, bro, Rob. Fire picks up his head and he looks at me like, yo, dude, I got you. Don't worry about it. No problem. And he goes, oh, thanks. And he just continues to do what he's doing. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, what the? Not like, oh, dude, I'm sorry. My bad. You know, I got this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy at my table. You like, Would you like anything? Well, uh, I mean, some people play things, do things differently, I guess. You know, and the other thing that I know he does, which really pisses me off, is that he grabs, you know, when he does his shoot videos, when other people bring them in, he gets in touch with them at the hotel and he does shoot videos at the hotel with them. Meanwhile, they're on someone else's dime. They're flying there. Or something. He did that with me and Bruce Pritchard. The first time I brought him in. That ain't cool. So, I, Bill Apter. Everybody knows Bill Apter. He's a pain in the ass, but he's a cool guy. Okay. I had to set him straight once it too. He, he grabbed Bruce and um, Allie. And he did interviews with them. So, he, I didn't know at the time. I saw him on Facebook like two days after Legends. And I contacted him. I'm like, yo, Bill. I'm like, dude, I'm like, you're doing interviews with my guy. You didn't even ask me? I'm like, I wasn't going to say no to you, but at least common courtesy. And he was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Blah, blah, blah. He was like, you know, me and Bruce go back years. I'm like, I understand that, but you pull him away from the table. That's time away from the table. He's not signing stuff. Right. That's money. You know, especially at Legends where it's not, the flow is not there like Big Event. Some people come to the table, if they're not there, they're not coming back. Because it's just way too crowded to move. They're not going to fight to come back to the table. Mm-hmm. So, he was like, well, what can I do for you? I was like, well, underneath the interview, put courtesy of Damage 365 Radio. And he did, for both videos. That's cool. So that was cool. Mm-hmm. So yeah, there, there's my grief. Everybody needed to know names. You know, the only guy that was really an asshole at uh, RussellCon... Was Heidi Reich? Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, uh, Bo, uh, Bo uh, Dempsey? No. <laughs> I won't even say he was an asshole. It was just, well, he just, it was an ass, asinine thing for him to do. I don't even care. And about I don't even, like, I, I thought he would be better, better than that because he even made some comments regarding uh, the Voldemort of indie wrestling um, that I was really disgusted with. I'm like, look, I know what he did and was the, the whole situation was gross. But you're going to tear into the guy about his wrestling ability and everything else. One has nothing to do with it and the other. So I'm like, just leave it be. Some no, people, some people no you know the guy that was with um, Anvil? Short little bald head guy. <laughs> <laughs> Machu said he was his bitch. <laughs> Some guy, JB, Joey B. Yeah, that guy just spent the whole day walking around. Um, walking around. Like a saying, mark trying to get him free autographs. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's all he does. He went down there for a vacation. He did. He did. Nothing to say about that, huh, Joey B, huh? <laughs> I'm not sure was your boss that day. Oh, my God. <laughs> I honestly think that if um, Richie would have went down there, and Joe would have had to spend three days down there. Joe would have killed him. Joe, he would have drowned him. Not he would have killed him. Yeah. After the first, after the first Friday, I think he would have drowned him in the pool. <laughs> Where's Richie? I don't know. You would have found him in a dumpster somewhere. <laughs> Where's Richie? I don't know. I haven't seen him since breakfast. <laughs> yeah, he definitely would have killed him. 
And then Rich, I talked to Rich, you know, Richie yesterday, and I was like, dude, I'm like, he's like, ah, I can't get off work. I'm like, you really could get off work. It's like, dude, I got a free trip to Florida, to the Hall of Fame, 